Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to talk about how I built a 400 pound bench press using crappy training. Before I get into this topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. All right, I got a little graphic here from Twitter, Twitter, Twatter, Tutor. And I'm going to talk about this because something surprising happened this year, and I think it's an important topic. And I want to discuss it. Hopefully, it'll help some of you guys build a bigger platform for your bench press. Now, from about age 45 to 50, I spent a lot of time working on my bench press. I moved kind of towards lower reps. I didn't do exclusively lower reps, but I was doing a lot of max rep sets, singles, doubles, triples. I would go into the gym, hit a single, a double, a triple, maybe even a quad, a heavy quad. And then I would do a couple back down sets, two or three back down sets, depending on what I felt like it. I was really working on overload using the bench press slingshot, which is a wonderful device. Uh, using chains at times, using occasionally bands, but I was going heavy, heavy, heavy on the bench. I had a big group of assistant exercises, dumbbell bench, guillotine uh, press, uh, push-ups, all kinds of things, right? But I really, even though my bench press got up to 392 and a half in competition, I basically spent five years grinding to get like 10 pounds on my bench. It was extremely frustrating. I felt like I was going nowhere, and um, I just could not push it up to 400 pounds. I thought I was kind of capped out. Now, around age 50, I started to take up ultra running. I became really obsessed with it. I had a lot of a lot of fun, ran a lot of trail marathons, trail 50Ks, even tried a 52-hour run for my 52nd birthday. But from age 50 to age 55, and I'm 55 now, my training sucked. My bench press training sucked. Now, let me explain. It sucked in a convent, from a conventional standpoint. I decided that I was just going to do 225 for sets of 10 while I was running, while I was putting all this time into running. I didn't have a lot of time to bench. I wasn't really doing a lot of assistance work. I was doing maybe dumbbell bench or plate-loaded chest press, and maybe cable tricep extensions. I wasn't even doing a lot of triceps work. So on the surface, my bench press training sucked. It definitely sucked in my mind compared to where it was before. It completely sucked. I wasn't doing a lot of triceps work. I was on and off with frequency, all kinds of things. And again, I never went above 225. Never. I could just do 225 for sets of 10, sometimes sets of 20, and I would just run with that forever. So some of what did my training look like with bench? Maybe some days I'd do 225 for three sets of 10. Maybe some days five sets of 10 with 225. Sometimes I was doing the 5, 10, 10, 20 protocol where I'd push my 225 for maximum reps you know, around 20. It depended on where I was in my training cycle and how frequently I was benching. Sometimes I get 15, sometimes I get 17, sometimes I was rebuilding. But during this time, it was just what I would consider subpar training. Nothing more than 10 reps with 225. You get it, right? So this year, starting in January, uh, after I got done with having a, a three-week cold, I decided to do power muscle block with Team Massive. I was going to push my bench above 225 for the first time in five years. So I slowly started to test things. I didn't want to rush into doing more and more weight. I wanted to let my connective tissue kind of adapt because I knew the muscular strength was there. But I didn't want I, I didn't know how weak my muscles would be with heavier weight. I didn't know how weak my connective tissue would be with heavier weight. And this is all getting to a point, so hold tight. So I slowly ramped up. 
I, I got up to 275 for an easy two sets of six. That surprised me. That was a couple weeks ago because I felt like I could just keep going. I just I felt like I could just keep going. And um, I just continued moving up and up. And uh, I got to the point where I'm doing 280, 285 for two sets of 10, a pretty easy two set of 10, uh, two sets of 10. I, in fact, I felt like I could do about 14 reps with the weight I use. And if you plug that into a one rep max calculator, like a 280, 285 by 14, you get a lift that's over 400 pounds. You get a bench press that's four, I don't know, 415, 420, 425. I'm thinking to myself, self, how could that be? I just had the crappiest training ever. And after only four weeks of ramping my bench up, my bench is approximately over 420, 425. Now you're probably going to say, ah, it's a bench press calculator, right? True. But you got to understand, I spent 10 years under heavy weight. I know what my capabilities were with 270, 275, 280, 285. And what I'm doing now crushed what I was doing back then. Absolutely crushed. Calculators aside, I know I'm ahead of where I was back then. I know my bench press is above 400. I'm going to continue to peak right now and see where I can go. I'm going to continue to try to progressively overload, not peak. Um, I'm going to move on to 290, 295, and even 300. And I'm going to continue to try to uh, progress and see where that goes. But I will tell you, I'm very confident with where my bench is now compared to where it was five, 10 years ago, that my bench is at least 10 pounds stronger. That would put me over 400. And But the way I'm feeling it, it's 20 to 25 pounds stronger than it was back then. And it's over 400 pounds. So what the heck is the point and why am I rambling on? Here's the point. I avoided for five years going heavy on the bench and I just did volume, 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 volume. I spent time not trying to purposely build a base, but I spent time building a base. So the training I was using, I considered to be weak, but it was a reminder of how I built my bench strength base. I was never into powerlifting. I was never into low rep training. I was always doing programs like this, the power muscle block, the power muscle burn, where I'm doing more reps on the bench. And I built a base doing rep work. And this is what I teach on this channel. And this is what I teach to my clients, build a base using rep work. I spent five years doing that. And before that, I spent five years trying to push my bench above 400 and couldn't get there. But when I took a break from all the high uh, intensity work and, and moved it more to volume, my bench press moved up, even though my training was pretty crappy. So the lesson here is if you want to build a big bench, you should have seasons of volume work where you're doing volume, 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 where you're broadening your base, where you're broadening your work capacity, where you're not just doing heavier sets because you think heavier sets are going to build uh, a bigger bench. Yes, heavier sets can have their value, but too much of, of the strength building world shies away from this type of volume base building approach. And the only thing I want to tell you guys is do not downplay it. Give it a shot. See what happens. Sell out to it. Run it for a long period of time. Then come back to your lower rep work and see how things have changed. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.